This happened in my last video. Uh oh. Now, that is an issue. To fix that, we're gonna use these. This is a frog juicer from Tam Valley Depot. Specifically, this is a mono frog juicer and it is designed for a single turnout. Now, why is it called a frog juicer? Well, the little part in the middle of a turnout where the tracks diverge, that's called the frog. And in my case, I need to power the frogs because they're electrically isolated. Now, you're thinking, why can't you just run a wire to that? Well, that will work for one particular way that the turnout's thrown, but the other way, it will cause a short circuit. So I need something that's gonna flip the polarity of the DCC signal that's going to it so that we don't cause a short circuit. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. This is the easiest. This is simply an automatic polarity changer for the turnout frog. So I'm gonna use these. I've only got five turnouts on here. So these things aren't the cheapest things, but if you're doing a small layout like mine, uh, you can definitely use these. So let's get started. All right, this is the turnout that was giving us issues last time. And this is the frog in question. And now you'll notice with the Atlas A, they have a couple of spots where there's a little bit of plastic that is isolating the frog from the rest of the track, which is where our lack of connection issue comes from. And then we also have this little spot right here that has a little hole right here that you can connect a wire to. Now, if you were to strip everything away, you would see basically just a metal section that is the frog being in a little plastic cradle around it. And then you have the rails. And then there's actually some metal pieces that go underneath this, um, underneath the plastic that connect these rails to these rails right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our drill and we're gonna drill a hole right here and then we're gonna run a wire and we're going to attach it right here. So let's get to it. Okay, hole drilled. So let's get to wiring. I'm going to be using some 22 gauge solid wiring and I'm going to be using green for these just to give it a little bit of a different mark because I have red and black below and then green will just tell me that this is the wire that is going to the frog. So I've got my hole, let's go ahead and stick some wire in it. Here you can see me bending the wire in a U shape so that it hooks into the hole. Next it's time to solder. I start by coating them with a little bit of flux and then I bring in my soldering iron and connect the wire to the frog. All right, I'm back underneath the layout right here. I've got the wire that I just ran and connected. You can see I put a lot of excess and that's just because it's a lot easier to take away wire than it is to reconnect it. So I've got my little sub bus right here. So somewhere in between this DCC sub bus and here, I'm gonna to need to put the frog juicer and it's gonna be a pretty simple process. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, one thing you will notice about the frog juicer is it has no holes for mounting. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of my favorite mounting tools for circuit boards, and that is hot glue. Hot glue is an excellent insulator, and it's going to hold on well, but it will also come off fairly easily if you need to do some change ups. So we're going to put some hot glue on the back right here and stick this exactly where we need it to go. Now there are three terminals on this frog juicer. The outer two terminals are for the DCC wires and the middle one is the one that's going to go to the frog juicer. So you're gonna see me hook up a black and a red wire on the outer terminals and then hook up my green wire on the middle terminal. Once that is done, I can hook up my DCC wires to the DCC sub bus I have set up over here, and that's it. All right, we've got the frog juicer hooked up and in place, connected to the DCC bus. Make sure everything is hooked up the way it is supposed to be. And it looks like it is. So let's go ahead and flip it over. All right, we've got everything wired up. We got a locomotive on the test track and we're going for this turnout right here. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, that's one direction. 
Let's try going backwards over it. And there we go. No stutter, the stutter's been removed. We now have a solid DCC connectivity all the way through the turnout. I've got four more of these turnouts to do, but that is how you wire up a Tam Valley Depot frog juicer. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading.